Hello, it's me, Gil, Sam Possible. I'm me, Gaz. My name is Taffrey16. I don't know why I'm wearing these headphones, but what I do know is that it's once again Thursday, or maybe Wednesday for you patrons, and that means it's time for another episode of Reading Your Comments. Hi from one of the Wednesday people, or similar to the Tomorrow people, but from Wednesdays. Aha, I see. Well, hello again to the Wednesday people, if you happen to be watching this early on Wednesday. For those of you who don't know, um, if you become a patron of me on Patreon, and I don't have tiers or anything, you can be a patron for one dollar or whatever. Um, uh, the rewards you get are you get to see videos, uh, in addition to there being monthly Patreon polls, you get to see the uh, videos a day early. So the Patrons get this on Wednesday, and they also get the reaction videos a day early as well. Dude, what is that song? It sounds like Flogging Molly or just some general Irish rip. I've talked about the background music. Uh, the background music I get from a website called uh, Incompetech. Uh, I just have a bunch of royalty-free music. If you go to the description and scroll down to the bottom of the description, it will give you a link to what song's playing in the background. It's worth watching Blackadder 1 just to see the differences. Originally, Blackadder was the idiot character and Baldrick was the smart one. Um, excuse me. Also, it was shot on film of her than video and had a much bigger budget. Really? So Blackadder was the idiot character. Was that the problem then? Is it was kind of just like another Mr. Bean? He, was he just doing the same shit he was doing in Mr. Bean? I could see that. I could see why people wouldn't take well to that. I think Only Fools is best served sporadically. I agree. I uh, really enjoy Black Books. Cheers, Noel. Uh, by the way, I've been watching your content going on two years. That's crazy. Looking forward to Free 16 reviews on Saturday. Well, thank you, buddy. I had no Noel Edmonds here. Where's he at? Oh, there's a blobby mask right here, I suppose. Are you in here, Noel? Hello? No, that fucker's probably around here somewhere. No, still game reactions have gotten a lot of views. Yeah, surprisingly, the one uh, a couple days ago, I guess now as you're watching this, I'm recording this on Tuesday night, but a couple days ago now as you're watching this, it bombed out. It did shite the, f the opening uh, day. You know what's weird? You want to hear something weird? The last three videos have been weird because here's what's happened. Black Books got uh, like 5K its opening day and it bombed out immediately after. Completely bombed. But then, in betweeners struggled out of the gate, but it gave Black Books a boost. It boosted Black Books over 10k. And then, still game bombed out of the gate, but gave in betweeners a boost. And now in betweeners is over 10k. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if YouTube's just weirdly pushing the previous reaction video three days late or whatever, but we're on some kind of weird pattern right now. What's with the film trailers at the beginning of reading your comments videos? Have been brought out by Miramax Films? Uh, no, not yet at least. Um, what they are is they are trailers for the videos I have upcoming on Free 16 Reviews. I'll be doing, on Free 16 Reviews, I'm moving to wrestling reviews of this channel, so it's just film reviews now. I'm doing uh, lookbacks at films every single Saturday. There'll be an upload on that channel. The upcoming ones you saw at the beginning will be on the 14th, it'll be King, King Kong 1933, um, and then on the 21st will be Thor on, yeah, on the 21st. So every single Saturday. Um, Basically, right now I'm doing the MCU. I'm doing every film in the MCU. So far, I've done Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and the Incredible Hulk. I'm also doing the Godzilla franchise. So far, I've done Godzilla and Godzilla Raids again. I'm going to be doing the original King Kong movie as the next Godzilla franchise movie is Godzilla vs. King Kong. So I felt it important to get some backstory on King Kong before we do Godzilla vs. Kong. But yep, those videos are on my second channel, which is linked in the description every single Saturday. Have you checked out Psychoville? It's made by the same people who made League of Gentlemen. Yeah, I did. It actually did really, really poorly when I uploaded it at the time on the Vimeo. That was back in October. Um, at the time, though, I think it was just a struggle period for my channel in general. 
my channel in general was in a weird rough patch at the time, so that could have been it. I really enjoyed the show. It didn't do well at all. Not a lot of people ended up seeing the video. It's on my daily motion now if you want to, but I thought it was a really fucking interesting show. Taff looks up an actor nobody knows. Also Taff, Mrs. Martin Freeman. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I fucking... I was like, I'm like, I thought the fucking Jehovah was Rick Mayo for some reason. It wasn't, but he looked kind of like him from an angle. So I'm like, is this Rick Mayo? I'm gonna look it up. But I guess I missed his first appearance. Luckily, he appeared again, and I called him the second time. Because I, if I had missed him total, then people would have been pissed at me. The funny thing is, it actually says uh, what it is on the box in Japanese. Lighter. Really? That's a fun fact. Well... The joke was spoiled for nobody, for people who knew Japanese, but luckily, um, I imagine a good majority of its audience didn't. Also, the funniest episode of IT Crowd, in my opinion, is Working Out in Season 2, Episode 1. What's funny to bring that show up, because we will be doing it monthly, starting this month. Uh, there are two shows I'm doing monthly, Father Ted and IT Crowd. So every single month, from this month forward, you will see an episode of Father Ted on YouTube and an episode of IT Crowd on Dailymotion. Taff, I'm surprised you didn't recognize Tamsin from Green Wing and Friday Night Dinner. Uh, I would like to see you wreck the office or Red Dwarf. I, I, um, well, I said at the very beginning of the video that she was from Green Wing, so I did recognize her from that. Um, I don't know if we talked about this last week, but yeah, she was the mom from Friday Night Dinner. I don't know how the hell I didn't put that together. We may have talked about this last week, but yeah, I, I don't know how the fuck I didn't put together she was the mom Friday Night Dinner. Uh, office or Red Dwarf? I've done three episodes of Red Dwarf. They're all my daily motion. Office I've talked about in the past, I would like to see the British office, so I can imagine doing that in the future as well. Love your videos, but I was wondering if you'll be doing any more commercials videos. No, probably not, aside from the Christmas commercials that I'll be doing around that time every year. Um, here's why. Let's take a trip down memory lane. I'll tell you how... The, I, I feel like I, I kind of just, they burned out over time. They did progressively worse as they went on. They, they used to be my bread and butter. Like, holy shit, they were guaranteed, like, so many views. But let's, let's see how they went overall. So, Commercials 1 um, did 134,000 views. Commercials 2 is my magnum opus. It did 355,000 views. It's my most viewed video. Also, my most disliked video. <laughs> um, commercials 3 did 88,000. Commercials 4 has 62,000. Commercials 5, 59,000. Commercials 6, 42,000. Now, you're seeing something a pattern, right? These are still very highly viewed, but um, they're going down increasingly. Except for Commercial 7, that had 51,000. That's one of my favorite reactions I've ever done, actually. It may be my favorite reaction, personally. It's, um, it's the one, it was the infamous train video. So, that one might be my personal favorite reaction, is Commercial 7. Um, if anyone was interested in what my pers my favorite reaction video I've ever done, might be that. Uh, but then commercials 8, 32,000. Commercials 9, 24,000. Commercials 10, 23,000. Commercials 11, 13,000. And then the last one, commercials 12, 19,000. So you see in the pattern here, it, it just, people were decreasing in interest over time. And I, I, I'd done it to death. I did 12 episodes of the main commercial series. So it, it was, it was about time to pull the plug, I think. Also, if you want to go to the Christmas videos, Christmas commercials 1, uh, 154,000. Christmas commercials 2, 34,000. Christmas commercials 3, 28,000. Christmas commercials 4, just under 9,000. Christmas commercials 5, 3,100. Christmas commercials 6, which was the next year. Not bad, just under 9,000. But then Christmas commercials 7, 36,000. And I guess I forgot 3,600, excuse me. And I think I forgot to put commercials 8 in this playlist, but it did around the same. Around, around the same as well. And then I also did 50s and 60s commercials and 70s, 80s commercials. And those both got around 5,000 views a pop. So, as time went on, I had done it so much to death that really people had lost interest in the whole series. So, I think I still will do um, the Christmas commercials around that time every year. But other than that, it's kind of, it's kind of done. Well, I kind of forgot what you looked like in 2018, Chunky Boy. Keep up the daily exercise videos, you doing good. Thank you. Uh, today, as I'm recording this at least, I actually set my record plank. I did a minute 47 plank. Um, so that's going pretty well. You know what's funny though? Maybe it's because I'm too harsh on myself, but looking at the footage compared to 2020 compared to 2018, I didn't actually notice much of a difference. Uh, maybe it's just me because I'm too hard on myself, but it was very nice that a lot of people said that. So I appreciate that. Sweaters lines in the same betweeners video that I haven't heard before in this, and I'm watching 
watched it so many times I've lost count. Maybe a different edit? Yeah, I don't know, buddy. Honestly, I probably... Either Rob got it for me or I downloaded it off Daily Motion back in fucking 2018. And that was a long time ago and I've done a lot of videos since, so I don't really remember the context. Kitty! Yeah, it was nice seeing her again. It's, again, it's gonna be weird when I re-upload. I, I might have to make a little thing at the beginning of every single in-between video when I re-upload them to YouTube. Just let people know, hey, this is old, you know, because... Kitty, this was, that original in between video, again, was made in November 2018. Kitty died in June 2019. So a lot, I think at least, at least, hmm, how many of them were made? Maybe at least 10 of them were made before she died. So, of, of, of the videos, that is. So, yeah, a, a lot of them will have her in it. When's the film reactions coming? I feel like I've said this a million times, but this month, I'm doing both of them this month. One of them, here's the thing, the next reaction video, I talked about this in, in uh, Getting Healthy, You'll know tomorrow, and I think the patrons might probably already know at this point. The next two reaction videos I can spoil for you right now are going to be Father Ted 7 and the first in-betweeners movie. In which order I'm going to put those, I'm not sure yet, but those are going to be the next two videos. Just to answer this question real quick before anyone asks it also, will I be able to put the in-betweeners movies on YouTube? Probably not because they're feature films and not the TV shows, so the copyright is probably way different, so I highly doubt I'll be able to put the movies on YouTube. Are you going to include all comments in these in-betweeners reactions, uh, re-uploads, and your new read and your comments videos? Well, you're here right now, so yes. You should watch the American in-betweeners. Oh, I did. I did a couple years ago, and holy shit, it was garbage. <laughs> Glasgwins are known for their bluntness, yes. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely something different, like I talked about in the skill game video from uh, there to here. It's here, like, it's not considered, you know, commonplace to be blunt, or, or especially to curse at children. And, you know, here's the thing. I hate to generalize, and it's one thing that I, it shouldn't annoy me because it's stupid, but it kind of annoys me a little bit when people generalize like all of America, like all of America does this. It's kind of silly to generalize when you think about it because America has, America's a huge fucking place. Okay, there's like over 300 million people here, and there's 50 states, and each state is unique and has different people in every state, different culture, different everything in every single state. So some states are different number, like New York, for example, people are a lot more blunt in New York compared to here. But if I had to say in a general sense, yeah, I'd, I'd say bluntness is not a big deal, but it's is not a big thing. But especially on the West Coast, I'd say it's not, people aren't very blunt. The teenager in Still Game is Kevin Guffrey. He was a year above me and he plays Abernethy uh, in the Fantastic Beast films. Really? That's pretty cool. I've never seen the Fantastic Beasts films. I've seen all the Harry Potter films, but I haven't gotten to those ones yet. Hi, I'm one of the moderators on the Two Pints Prick Still Game Facebook group, uh, and I've just approved uh, this video on our group, so expect lots of likes uh, for your previous videos. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it's cool to get you getting the word out, and again, that video bombed really uh, badly early, but who knows? Maybe by the time you're seeing this video, maybe it's gotten a second wind. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Has anyone watched the spin-off thing to Still Game Happy Holidays? There's a spin-off to Still Game? That's interesting. Wasn't Still Game itself a spin-off to Chew in the Fat? So it was a spin-off spin-off? Hmm. Don't think I've ever heard of that before. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for another episode of reading your comments per usual. If you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. <laughs> Sounds pretty simple, right? The comments in this video were pulled from last week's episode and reading your comments. Um, American reacts to Black Books, American reacts to the Inbetweeners, and American reacts to Steel Game 6. So this video and the next two reaction videos after this will be the places to comment if you want to get your comments uh, read next week. Uh, usually, I pull comments from free videos. Again, this and next two reaction videos. It's sometimes this and free reaction videos if it was like last week, if reading your comments and reaction video are uploaded on the same day. Uh, but yeah, this video and the next two reactions, which I've already spoiled, are going to be the Inbetweeners movie and Father Ted, will be the places to comment if you want a chance to get your comment read next week. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, Free16 Views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, blah. If you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, or my Vimeo, my not my Vimeo, they deleted my Vimeo, those fuckers scammed me. No, I'm just kidding. They gave me my money back, but fuck those guys. My daily motion is down in the description. Uh, also, in the description is linked to my community. Uh, can't speak words. My community Reddit. My community Reddit and my daily schedule. Thank you also to all 35 of my patrons currently listed in the description. With all that being said, and me slowly losing my mind and my ability to speak, my name is Taffrey16. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!
shit. Taff looks up actor. Taff looks up actor everybody. Taff looks up actor nobody knows. Also Taff, Mrs. Martin Freeman. It's fucking, here's the inside information. I just botched that line like twice going in before I read this comment out. And I got pissed at myself. I'm like, you know what, man? It's just not hard to read the comment. But fucking, anyway. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna do that again. Taff looks up an actor. Taff looks up an actor and it'll 